If you're looking to build a serious street strip or strip only drag car, adding a high performance braking system is critical. Willwood has been manufacturing brakes for race cars for over 30 years, all the while keeping ahead of the power that engine builders are making on the track. Our project this month is All Air, a fourth generation Camaro powered by an 800 plus horsepower World Products LS7 454 cubic inch engine. In this video, we're going to cover the installation of Willwood's new F-Body Dynapro Big Brake Front Kit for drag racing and the time-tested Dynalite Rear Axle Kit for big bearing Ford 9-inch rear ends. For the rear, our kits include 11.44 inch diameter solid rotors with a 2.36 inch offset that would mate perfectly with our Moser fabricated M9 rear end with Torino style bearings. The front brakes were more of a challenge. While the stock brakes are fine for street use, we needed to get rid of the floating caliper system and put in a race ready fixed caliper. Fortunately for us, Willwood had just engineered a caliper mounting block for the F-Body that would adapt the caliper mounting for 98 through 2002 model year spindles. We started off with the front brakes by removing the stock components and then installed the Willwood caliper mount bracket assembly on the stock spindle. Making sure that the bracket was tightened squarely against the inboard side of the caliper mounting bosses and the spindle body. Next up was attaching the rotor hat to the rotor. Making sure that the larger inside diameter of the rotor is facing away from the hat, we assembled the components together, talking them in a crisscross pattern. The rotor assembly was then installed on the hub. BJ loaded the calipers with the supplied brake pads and installed the front calipers on the mounting block. The calipers were checked to ensure that the rotor was centered in the caliper and the outside radius of the brake pad was flush with the outside diameter of the rotor. If an adjustment is needed, we would include some shims for the mounting block and caliper mount. Once all the clearances were checked, we reinstalled the mounting block bolts and nuts. Because stock brake lines won't fit into Willwood calipers, we installed Willwood's braided flex line from the caliper to the stock bulkhead. The flex lines mount easily and can be routed to prevent any contact with suspension components. Now that the front brakes were installed, we could move on to completing our braking system by installing the Willwood Dynalite Drag Race Rear Axle Kit, a dependable favourite for hundreds of races running Ford 9-inch rear ends. Our Moser M9 rear end was new, so we didn't have to disassemble an existing brake system. The only part that we had to change out was the bearing retainer from the Moser rear end, which we replaced with Willwood's bearing retainers, which also provides the mounting for the rear calipers. Just as we did with the front brake rotors, we attached the rotor to the rotor hat, making sure that the rotor hat was facing the flat side of the rotor, and secured the bolts with the safety wire. We loaded up our calipers with Willwood's premium brake pads and mounted the calipers over the rotors and onto the caliper mounting bracket, making sure that the bleed screws were pointing up. After checking the rotor alignment in the calipers, we applied thread locker to the caliper mounting bolts and torqued them to 30 foot-pounds and used safety wire to secure them. Attaching the braided flex lines wrapped up this part of the installation. All that was left was to bleed the brakes once our drivetrain was installed in the project car and the brake lines custom fabricated to the chassis. Thanks to Willwood, Project All Air now has a set of serious drag brakes to match her 800 horsepower, naturally aspirated engine.